and welcome to the Grand Theatre's vlog. I'm here tonight for a very special reason. That is, of course, the opening of Cinderella. So sit back and relax. I'm going to take you backstage for an Access All Areas tour. I'm hopefully going to be able to track down Prince Charming, Cinderella, and maybe even the Euclid sisters. You won't miss any of it, so follow me this way. Come round here. I want to show you this is a really interesting part of backstage. It is the Ugly Sisters quick change? I can't tell you how many costume changes they have in the show, but this is where all the magic happens. You can see feathers, wigs. This looks like a massive pair of bloomers to me. Um, over here, there's oh my gosh, there must be one. There's about six wigs and headdresses there. It looks phenomenal. I didn't touch anything because the Ugly Sisters are way bigger than me, but you can see just the arrangement of costumes here. There's absolutely loads, and I'll be honest with you. I really wouldn't like to wear them on a night out. They're absolutely huge. Uh, but this is where the um, Ugly Sisters get changed and they have umpteen quick changes in the show. In fact, pretty much every time you see them on stage, they'll be wearing something different. to come in for a minute yay oh it's lush in here so opening night and you've just opened the show yeah. so how are you feeling because you, you were stunning watching you from the side oh, of the stage it was really oh, really good you. how are you feeling i'm feeling great yeah i mean it went well it's just keeping the energy up and just getting through this first night <laughs> <laughs> and you are very glittery which i really like yes yes i've got I've got various forms of glitter all over the place and actually I always apologise to my, the people in my digs ah. that they, they will have glitter until June. <laughs> They'll, They'll just keep finding it. Yeah, I know, they keep hoovering and it'll still be there. So. so we've already had a couple of chats now with people around. I'm going to take you into the Ugly Sisters dressing room, uh, better known as Jamie and Taz. So come this way, hopefully they're decent. I better knock actually. Hello? Oh yeah. The decent, the decent. Oh. Come in, come in, come in, come in. So, uh, we have got Jamie and Taz, our Hi. ugly sisters. I know that you live on the Fowl Coast. What is so special about you? Because you go all over the country being the ugly sisters. I think you're the best at what you do. So what's special about being at the Grand and being back in Blackpool? Oh, well, the Grand Theatre, it's so special, isn't it? Gorgeous Matcham Theatre. Um, it's a traditional theatre. And with that, you get a traditional audience. They, Blackpool audience, really up for Panto. Um, heaven to be in our hometown. Oh, yeah. So nice yeah. to be at home. And what about friends? Do you get lots of friends and family come to watch? Oh yes, loads all the time, constantly going. Um, coming tonight, got to get some tickets. Get some tickets. All the time. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks so much for letting us have a look around your dressing room. Right, have to so say, much. smells lovely in here. Well, what what smells so good? Besides, is it you lovely. or is it? It's not the port. It's, it's port. port. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, he's in. He's in. And he's decent. What about what are you wearing for the ball? Have you got something swishy for oh, the actually, ball? Yes. Let's have a look so at the swishy costume. My, um, this is my ball. I mean, so nothing I, says Prince Charming. No, it's um, oh, it's yeah. it's really heavy. So obviously, when the lights are on me, it's a bit. <laughs> but um, no, it's it's amazing. And um, but I kind of got to dance with it, so it's it's pretty. Pretty, pretty full tough. on. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Um, now talking of the day job, what yes. about your uh, your Uni and Jay band mates? Are they going to yes. come and watch? Are they going to bring their families? They Have are, they been supportive? Yeah, well, Jamie, Jamie's doing Panto this year as well, so he's wow. looking to come. Um, I think he finished on the thirtieth, so he's going to come at the beginning of January, Brilliant. which obviously will make it. You know, he'll be very judgmental and be like, mine's better. And I'll be like, mine's better. But, um, Are you been exchanging Snapchats in the old, uh, what's, what's um, his costumes like? I mean, surely yours are better. Well, I know, I know this year he's doing Aladdin, but yeah, you can't be the prince's. Well, I, th I think just in general, Cinderella's, all Cinderella's outfits are amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Any cast in Cinderella's got amazing outfits. And I don't think you can beat that, really. Absolutely. Been, well, than uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, enjoy the run. Thank you for letting us have a little a bit of a mooch no dressing worries. room. And I've sorry, got to get ready for the sorry. ball. If I knew you were coming, Tied it up. It's quite all right. Right, he's getting his clothes off. How about I leave? So I'm still backstage. We're still in Act One on opening night, and I'm joined by three of the lovely dancers. So who have we got here? Amber, Katie, Gabby. And how old are you? Ten. Eight. Eight. <gasps> and how's it going? How's the show going? Because we're just going into the it's magical good. secrets. How is it? It's, yeah, it's, it's good. good. And what I meant to ask you, what dancing school do you go to? Barbara, Barbara Jackson's. Jackson's. And this isn't your first panto. I recognise a couple of your faces here. So it's how many pantos have you done? And how are you finding it? It's good. I actually couldn't be more excited. Somehow I've managed to sneak out 
into Cinderella's actual carriage. So this is where she will uh, be taken off the ball. And if that wasn't as exciting enough, have a look over there. It's only the magical Shetland ponies. I'm so excited. So who are they? Who've we got? Today we've got um, Zebedee and Mickey. Zebedee and Mickey. You heard it here first. And and how are they? I mean, how are they with being on stage? They've been really well behaved this time. They've only been through two rehearsals so far and they've been brilliant. An odd, an odd little poop here and there. Excellent. And what's the little poop between between magic? Um, so this, this is rising now. So this leads them straight onto stage. Can we follow? Can we have a little look? Right at the back of the stage. Again, the Shetlands in position for the big transformation sequence. It takes so much effort to get them bang on time and to get them in position, ready for that big transformation. Because for me, it's the big, big moment in the show. So if you look down there now, and what's so sweet is those ponies are stood in position, waiting while all this music and chaos and craziness and special effects are going on. And they're just lovely, they just stand there and they're amazing. Yes, yeah, Cinderella's on way the balls, which means we can come in here. It's Kettle's on. That's a ticket, that's what happened. <gasps> Don't give him too much away. Spoiler. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. So how's it going, opening night? I know it's always a bit It's always a bit of an, a, a different energy on opening night. How is it going? Yeah, it is. It, do you know what? It, it's, it's brilliant, it, absolutely brilliant. The, the only fear is you, 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 because there's such a lovely audience, you want to play with them, well certainly I do because of my part, I want to play with them a little bit more and have a little bit, a few improv, improv moments, but you've got to be conscious of the time as well, because it is at the end of the day, it's a kid's show and you don't want to stretch too much, I think we're looking at around about, yeah, about one hour, 10, 15 minutes, something for the first half, which is about alright, right, yeah. because the second half is a lot shorter anyway. So. Yeah, absolutely, and obviously, I mean, Panto Veteran, you know, 15 years here now, I know, I know, um, but I know that Cinderella is your favourite, but tell everyone why it's your favourite. It's my favourite because I feel like I'm proper acting. <laughs> the scene I've just done now is the big scene where I come back on and Cinderella's not going to the ball because the ticket's been ripped up yeah. and I said, well, we'll make our own ball here. Uh, we've got to get there. And I do the makeover for her and put a dress on and, and then it's all into transforming the, the table, make it look like a carriage. And, and then I do the song and this year it, I, I've adapted Despacito. Oh. The song Despacito, which I want to do because it's been such a popular song. Yeah, right? no, I've huge. Got to get it into the panto because it's all nearly all Spanish. Yeah. The original, it was very difficult. So I thought, well, I'll rewrite it. So it's now got a Cinderella. Oh. Da, 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 da. And I love it. I really enjoy doing it. I've really enjoyed writing it. I've really enjoyed and, and loving performing it. So it's interval time here at the Grand. It's opening night. So I'm going to take you through to what I'm hoping is Olivia's dressing room. Yes, she's there. Hello. Oh my gosh, it's like a Christmas Hello. wonderland in Sorry, here. It smells lovely in oh, here. Nice. Is it you? Is it the flowers? It's, is it's it? Work. Talk, talk us through the dressing room, Olivia. This is epic. Um, flowers arrived today. <laughs> my mum delivered a Christmas tree. My mum and sister have turned up and surprised me. So oh, they're watching. So that's, that's a nice surprise. Really? Lovely. How's opening night going? All right, um, it's happening. Okay. It all becomes a bit of a blur over the night. Okay. Um, but it's, it's going. And how was the transformation? Was it all magical? We, we did see there. your Shetland ponies. Thank you. Yes. Um, <laughs> they, yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Um, yeah, it's all going well. I transformed. It, the spell worked. That's the, magic the main is thing. Here. The magic's happened. The magic's happened. And the oh, they're on the floor. Oh my yeah, goodness. Like that. I'll yeah. cover the inside. Because it's magical. <laughs> Oh, they are beautiful. They are the most embellished shoes I've ever seen. <laughs> Very expensive. No. Oh, yeah. Very. Absolutely. Yes. Well, best wishes. Enjoy the run. Thanks. And I have to give you the award. It's been a hard fought, but I think you get the award for the most Christmassy dressing room. Yes! I mean, yes. <laughs> and my look, mom, thanks to my mum. Look, at your, your mum is the best. Look at that. That is cute. Too cute. Have you worked with Jamie and Taz before? No, never worked with them before, so they're all new. And um, yeah, I don't know how many princesses I've had, <laughs> but uh, she's lovely. And uh, what about Blackpool? Have you been to Blackpool many times before? Yes, I came in South Pacific and uh, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers yeah, some wow. years ago. So I have done the theatre before and always have a good time and people are fab in Blackpool. So we always know we're on for a good time. So what's this that you've got here? Is this, is this food for the ball? Yeah, we've, I've got Professor Rolls. What have you got? I've got jelly. What have you got? I've absolutely no idea. I, just... I would say that looks like a magical souffle. 
From now on, please refer to it as a magical souffle. It's a magical souffle. It's a magical souffle. So, I am in the dress circle bar here at the Grand Theatre, and this year, the theatre is celebrating 21 years of Panto with UK Productions. So, in the dress circle on display, during Panto season, we're going to have all the posters for you to have a little look back at. It started uh, with Roy Walker in Cinderella with the gorgeous uh, Jenny Powell. It looks absolutely fantastic. And then you move along. These are all the shows they've had on here and all the stars. Bernie Nolan is on that poster. You've got Aladdin there. And then this one's quite special for me personally because my sister was a dancer in this one. This was Dick Whittington in 99. And uh, I can clearly remember her working with Anna Karen and, and Ben Shepherd in this year. Uh, you've got Cinderella. We have Babes in the Wood. Um, po posters getting a bit more, getting, you know, getting a bit fancy. Another Nolan sister there, Maureen Nolan. And who's this guy? Who's this young, young whippersnapper? From 2003, that was Steve Royal's first performance. Um, that was in Peter Pan, yeah, with Maureen Nolan as Mrs. Darling. And then you don't get shut of Steve Royal, quite frankly. He featured on every one of the next lot of posters. We've got Jack and the Beanstalk, of course, lovely Ruth Maddock with him again uh, in Snow White. Another Dick Whittington there, Sleeping Beauty. Cinderella, he loves a Cinderella, does our Steve. Uh, Barney and Steve together there in Peter Pan. We've got Aladdin with brilliant Amy. And then the brilliant Vicky Entwistle uh, with Steve again in Snow White. And then, ta-da! I'm very excited to spot myself uh, in Cinderella. Uh, last time it was here again, Jamie and, and Taz with Steve and the lovely Danny Miller and Amy. And then, um, yeah, Peter Pan. Uh, the gorgeous um, Peter Pan with, with, with Tom and Steve and the lovely Jordan. And then so I, I was in my fairy, back to my fairy days there in uh, Sleeping Beauty. And then, of course, Snow White with Dan and Sue Pollard. And then, of course, last year's Fun and Games uh, with Barney again, uh, Mark Morahan. And this guy, Steve Royal, once again, I had a great time last year as the, uh, as the slave of the ring. So if you get a chance and go on a little bit of a trip down memory lane, pop up to the dress circle bar and have a little nosy at the posters. So that's all from me. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed our little magical backstage tour. <laughs> Don't forget, you can... Oh, is, are you a turkey? Yes. Okay. Where's the Christmas? I've lost my stuffing. I think on the, on the stuffing turkey-related bombshell, we will leave it there. Uh, you can book tickets on the Grand Theatre's website, blackfoolgrand.co.uk, or you can call the box office on 01253 290 190. Thank you.